You'll have to put them up higher than that, mate. Come on, lift them. You're a sucker for a jab. You see, mate? Oh, oh. Or how's the old killer instinct this morning, are we, mate? Come on, Peter, hit him. There you go, mate. There's a lesson in that. Never lose your temper before school. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Rocky. Undo me, will you, Hedda? How'd I do? Ah, oh, pretty good. He's the first dead person I've ever really seen. You ever seen anyone dead, Andy? Just me dog. Dogs aren't people. No, but he was dead. I saw my grandmother two days before she died. I was real little. Mum said she was preparing to go to heaven. I always thought people bled when they died. Bled from where? Oh, you know, from the eyes and ears and stuff. I mean, I read this book once where this, this guy, he got hit by a car, and he bled from the ears and stuff. You're bent. No, really, I mean, Peter, he just sort of died, didn't he? One minute he was there and the next minute he wasn't. One dead piece of meat. Hey, Hedo. God, Skinny, did your mum ever give birth to any live children? <laughs> they reckon Mr Wilson went right off his face at the hospital. My mum couldn't believe it. Hedley, what'd your brother say? Couldn't believe it, neither. How come you're not upset? Being upset isn't going to help, is it? It's just one of those things. Reckon Doc Elliott and Sergeant Guru twig what happened? You know, before... Maybe we should tell them. Give it a rest, Hedley. Yeah, what are you, Boy Scout or something? If we tell them, we'll be accessories or something, won't we? Anyway, what good is it going to do telling them? Not going to help Peter much, is it? No. Geez, nice day, isn't it? Hope it doesn't rain. Damn, I'm out of fags. I bet so. Ma, they're awful. Have you ever read the tar and nicotine levels on the side of the pack? They'll kill you. I'm going to shop. Anyone coming? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I want to get another pack of it. Yeah. Hey, Hedda, you coming? No, I might sit here for a while. Please yourself. Come on, you lot, right to the shop. Last yeah. one here's got cow dung for brains. Hi, Hedley. Hi. Doing a bit of bodybuilding, are we? Trying. Where's Phyllis Freddy? It's working with Bob Hatfield. Got a big job on it at Bellini's place. Do you realise what this means? We're all alone here. Did you want to think special, Simone? You going to Peter's funeral? When is it? Tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. Did the uh, cops talk to you? Yeah. Tell them anything? No. You, uh, want a drink? Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss him? Peter? Yeah. A little bit. Never saw much of him, though. Always too busy with his boxing and football and stuff. Don't you just hate guys who always have to prove themselves? Oh, yeah, I guess. You know, all. Did right. you get it? Yeah. Sorry, it took so long. I had to steal some money from me dad. This is real XC stuff, right? Right. What you got? Some really good tripping gear. Guy in your tent told me about it. Uh -huh. You can't do it here. We weren't gonna. This stuff knocks your unco for hours. Go down the park? Sounds good to me. 
You coming, Hedley? Hmm? Are you coming down to the park to trip out? Oh, no, I've got a lot to do around here. Oh, Freddie gonna smack you if you do anything wrong, is he? No. Come on, Simone. Hedley wants to be a drop kick. That's his business. Hey, I might see you down there a bit later. Don't bother. Pretty heavy act. I can't handle funerals. And he's got some more stuff. Thought it might make us feel better. What do you reckon, eh? What's the matter, Headley? Upset because your brother isn't driving you to school this morning. Yeah. What's with Freddie? Seems as mad as hell. Don't worry about Freddie. Why not? You obviously are. OK, sorry I spoke. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? Yeah. Too nice to go to school. Why, Headley? What would your big brother say if he heard you saying that? Well, why don't you bag your head? I would, but I'm broke. Yeah. Would be a good day to get ripped, wouldn't it? Count the clouds. I got some money. Yeah? Um, having trouble with your zip, Headley? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got about five bucks. What do you reckon? Should be able to score that. Come mighty close. What are we waiting for? Ugh. Edo's really getting into it. <laughs> Got to get into it to get out of it, hey? You're not wrong. Hey, Hedo, how's it going? What? It's good. <laughs> are you going to share it or use it all yourself? Just one more. He's gonna have a bad head when he wakes up in the morning. Wonder what happened between him and Freddy. Must have been bad. Have you got a smoke? Oh, God, Andy, what did your last slave die of? Do you want one? Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah. Come on, Headley, you'll use it all. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> hey, Hedo. You all right? Hey, mate. <coughs> Don't act it, Headley. <coughs> Headley! <coughs> He's gonna die, Simone. <coughs> He's gonna die, let's go. Are you nuts or something? He's gonna die like Peter. Get Freddy. He's working up at the police. Simone! Go, Andy! All right, all right, I'm going. <coughs> What happened? I think he's dead. He's, he's not breathing. Get to a phone quick. Call an ambulance. Is he dead? Just do it. He was okay a minute ago. It's not my fault. <laughs> Well, there could be some liver and kidney damage. I'll have to run some tests. You'll also experience withdrawal symptoms, bad headaches and nausea. How long for? Well, for quite a while. There is another problem. What? You're going to suffer from lack of muscular coordination and impaired use of your arms and legs. How long is this going to go on for? That depends. On what? On how much brain damage you've sustained. And a visitor for young Headley Skinner. Feeling up to it? 
Who is it, Freddy? No, young lady. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. <coughs> Hi, Sergeant Gouroy. Oh, hi. How are you? All right. Just thought I'd drop by. I brought you something. So, what's happening? No. No, I don't suppose there would be a lot going on in here. <coughs> I saw Freddie this morning. Jogging. He, uh, he didn't speak to me. He must be pretty crapped off. Has he been to see you? No. I think he's given up on me. Oh, I know. Did you hear about the blue light disco? No. At the hall on Saturday night. You'll be out by then, won't you? <coughs> I think so. I'm not sure. Should be really tops. How come they put you in here with him? Don't know. Probably the only bit they had spare. Has he tried to question you? Uh, how's school? Oh, same as always. <coughs> Andy and Ken wagged it today. Hitchhiked down to Burrigan. Don't know if they're back yet. How come you didn't go with them? Oh, I was thinking. You know, about stuff. I've decided to hang in at school, see how it goes. Become a citizen, eh? Yeah, something like that. You know, you, uh, you really scared me, Headley. I, I had a dream last night that, that it was me who nearly died. It was freaky. You know, if, uh, if Freddie hadn't been there, I'm nearly ready. I'm just going to put my shirt on. <sighs> like an old man, eh? Come here. No. <sighs> Freddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Freddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, mate. So am I. There you are. Here I am. Come on inside. Have a dance. Headley, what's wrong? Come on, Head. Come and have a dance with me. I can't dance anymore. 